Welcome to Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, the podcast where nostalgia comes alive. Since July of 2021, Jake and his friends have interviewed professionals in the worlds of acting, directing, writing, puppeteering, and many more. Who will they be chatting with in this week's interview? Find out in this Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show episode. Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, where nostalgia comes alive. I'm your host, Jake Duffenball. With me today, as always, our co-host, Chris Bixby and Matt Bingle. How are you guys doing? We're good. How are you? Hey, Jakey. How are you great. doing? It's great to hear. I'm doing great as always. Thank you for asking. Hey, Chris, what do we yes. have for today? Our guest today, she is a voice actress who many will know as the voice of Angelica Pickles in the Rugrats franchise that includes the original Rugrats, the spinoff All Grown Up, and of course the Rugrats reboot. We're going to talk about that and some other things as well. And here she is, Cheryl Chase. Cheryl, happy to have you here. Hi, good to be here. Thank you, guys. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Pleasure. Happy to have you here. Yes, so to kick things off, we know who you are, but for those who don't, would you care to introduce yourself a bit? Oh, yeah, I'm Cheryl Chase, and I do the voice of Angelica on the Rugrats, and I'm also known for doing voices on the Ren and Stimpy show. No, oh, yes, yes, definitely. Yes. Awesome, awesome. So what was your background like, and how did you grow up? Oh, my background? Well, actually, I am I always loved imitating, you know, funny voices. I would watch TV and and um, I, I would imitate different, like, this is before your time. There was the Carol Burnett show, and they, they would have different skits and sketch comedy on there, and I would try to imitate different voices, or, or one time I was walking down um, the street. When I was at college, I was walking down the street, and I was talking to my friends, and somebody ran up to me and said, you sound like... Glinda the Good Witch on on um, the Wizard of Oz, and I thought to myself, well, geez, I didn't, I, I know, are you a good witch or a bad witch? And I thought I tried to do her voice, and I thought, you know, I can I can imitate that. So I start um, taking classes because you have to take classes um, so that you know what you're doing. And so um, I took classes, and I got an agent, and the rest is history. Huh. Awesome. awesome. There you go. There you go. So how were you first inspired to get into voiceover work? Uh, well, what I just what I just told you right now with walking down the street with with um, and being told that I sound like Glinda the Good Witch. That was the moment that I because I always like to fool around on your voices. But that was the moment when I realized, hey, maybe there's something here for me and I could do it professionally so that it happened when i was in college awesome nice so before yeah. getting into voice over professionally did you have any favorite cartoons to watch growing up oh yeah well, well i loved bugs bunny um yes. i loved i loved um the flintstones and you would i don't know you guys wouldn't know this one um gigantor it's um anime it was like anime um, um, Top Cat, but mainly, you know, all the Warner Brothers cartoons and, um, um, what was I saying? The Flintstones. And, and then there's the Jetsons. That's what I oh, grew yeah. up on. Yeah. yeah those I'm are all, fun. those are all great cartoons too. I remember the Jetsons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. yeah. So now, of course, your most known voice acting role is voicing Angelica Pickles in Rugrats. Can you kind of Talk about what the audition process was like for that role. Yeah, well, um, what happened was I got a, um, I was, at the time I was working at the Ren and Stimpy production offices. I was, I worked in the office and I got this call to go audition for uh, the Rugrats pilot. And I thought, okay. So I went there and it was um, a part for Chucky, no, no, a part for Phil and Lil and Tommy. And so I, you know, concocted voices and I went in there and I tried out for it and obviously I didn't get it. So that was for the pilot. So then a year or so later, they had the, the pilot ruled and they wanted, they had to add more characters. So they created Chucky and Angelica. So they had me back 
and I tried out for both characters. And um, uh, when I saw the Angelica, I, I like the Ange I was drawn to the Angelica character. Um, um, she, it said that you know she's a little bad girl and and she's very spunky and and um, she likes you know getting the other babies in trouble and <laughs> and so I thought oh and she's three years old so I thought how do I sound as a three year old so I would you know I figured my own voice and I and I would squeeze my vocal cords really tight and that's where the Angelica voice comes from <laughs> so I, I that's what I did. For, and then and I was so it was so exciting. I, I went to the audition, and then I didn't think anything of it. And I was busy working at Ren and Stimpy, but then um, I was doing um, another voice job on The Simpsons, and I was in working on The Simpsons at the time. And um, I got a phone call. They stopped and said, "Oh, you have a phone call from your agent." And so I I went and I took the call and it said, well, you you got the Rugrats, you got um, Angelica, and I thought, oh, that's really cool. I'm really excited. I didn't know at that time that it was going to get to be this big global phenomenon, but um, it was a big blessing. I'm so grateful mm -hmm. for it. Well, that's, uh, that's that's wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it is most things. You know, you don't expect them to become big global phenomenon. Exactly. Not the start. Yeah, exactly. No. What ha what happened why it got to be so big, I think it's because in the beginning, Rugrats was on when was it? It was on Saturday and Sunday mornings, right? Like around ten or ten thirty. Do you remember when you were so. little and you were watching it? And so, so and so um it was only on the weekends. But then they decided to put it on the weekdays between during the dinner hour, I think it was on at 630. And that's the time family was having dinner and the family can have dinner and sit down and watch the show together. And that and that's, I think, what really caught on when the adults started seeing what a great cartoon show this is. And then from that, once it started getting popular in the ratings, Nickelodeon wanted to bring they they did a oh what do you call it it was um Rugrats show it was um it wasn't on ice but it was a it was a live show and they did that oh in like the late nineties and then okay. toward the yeah we pre we premiered it in the Radio City Music Hall and it, oh wow wow wow, wow. Oh, yeah, that was, it was phenomenal it was phenomenal. Wow. We did the we did the voice cast did the voice did the recording and then they took the recording with the live dancers dressed up as the characters and they would tour the country. And wow. um, yeah, it was a live Rugrats live stage show. And then after that, they had the movies. They they mm -hmm. they the, the Rugrats movie grossed a hundred million dollars. It was the first wow. movie to top the Disney, um, or, you know, what Di Disney would earn for their movies. We, uh -huh. we, we, you know, we're the first non-Disney movie to do that. Wow. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. That is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yes, it is. Definitely. Absolutely. It's wild. Yeah. <laughs> Rugrats go <laughs> <are> wild. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, exactly. Literally. Yes. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so you talked about the audition process but can you talk about what your experience was like working with the other voice actors for the first time on Rugrats? Um yeah um they're such nice girls. Um I enjoy I, I love all of them. Um we in the beginning we um worked together. We would work we would we yeah. would sit we would sit with every we sat around the table with the director and we would read the script together. Um but then later on it, our schedule started getting too intense and so they couldn't get us all together at the same time so we had a, we record separately mm. we we you know we come in for our own set chosen time because it just works better for the producers yeah yeah definitely yeah so um i'm kind of curious are there any episodes you've done as um, angelica that stick out as some of your favorites um oh i have to say like one of um, well, I love the trial. I love that one. Um, Ooh, I love yes. when Angelica breaks a leg. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. she gets um you know, she likes she has she's not getting enough attention at Do and Steedy's house. Drew, no, not Drew. Didi's house. So she pretends that she breaks her leg and she bosses everybody around, you know, with that little buzzer. But that, yeah. <laughs> that's that's hilarious to me. And what I like um, coming up in in um, season two, because we're we're coming out with season two. Um, it's um, there's an episode coming up where Angelica meets her her grandmother for the first time. Um, her name is Judith. It's a new character. Oh, nice. And, and so, yeah. yeah, so this is Charlotte's mother. So Charlotte's mother is going to come into the series. Wow. So that's Yeah, that's going to be exciting. So they do a really yeah. big episode. I can't say what it's about, but mm -hmm. it's it's a really big episode. And Jelga and the grandmother are through the whole thing. And it's just between her and the grandmother. And the babies, they have a couple of lines. But mainly it's just yeah. Angelica. That was the funnest episode, so I can't wait till you guys see that one. Yeah, the, what, one, of my, one of my favorite episodes from the original Rugrats is uh, the episode Pickles versus Pickles. Oh, yes. Where, yeah, that's a fun one. Yeah, that one. It, that's when she sues her parents. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what I love is when she's sitting in the living room and she has a tape recorder and Charlotte comes into the living room and and starts talking and 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 Angelica says just a second. Then she turns on the tape recorder to record <laughs> what her mom is saying. I thought that's hilarious. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> yeah, oh there, there's a lot of good ones. Um, yeah. And another on, on the subject of uh, you know, because there were also a ton of uh, different holiday specials like Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Passover. What, what was it like working on those? Oh, it was wonderful it was just like um just like working on any of the other episodes um you know they have they have Rugrats was the first one to come out with um their the religious holidays you know a lot of the jewish traditions um mm -hmm. you know hanukkah and, and passover and now they have and we recorded a recently we recorded um an, another a new episode um uh purim, purim. so that's so th that's another Jewish holiday that they'll be coming out with. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. Awesome. So I'm for that. very excited about that. So who were your, some of your favorite celebrity guests that have been on the show? Oh, okay. Um, there's been, well, the first one I worked with was um, Adam West. He's the voice uh, you know, yeah. of Batman, yes. you know? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, he was really nice. He was one of the first ones. And... Um, I, I can't say the, the ones that, that I enjoyed working with were, um, uh, do you guys know Susan Sarandon? Yes. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was, uh, in Rugrats, uh, in Paris. Yeah. And what was exciting about that was, uh, I already recorded my lines at Paramount's. We, for the movies, you would go to the movies, you'd go to Paramount Studios to do your lines. And so I already did that. And then I get a call that um, Susan Sarandon is going to play against you. And, and she's going to, uh, she wants you to fly to New York and record with her. And I, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> so, so, so that was like, see, she's never did an animated show before and she was nervous. So, um, oh, no. she, so I flew there and, um, she had her French coach on the side and she had a team of people there with her and I would feed her the lines and she, she wanted, she, she, she wasn't used to working alone. Like it's second nature for us, you know, Rugrat girls, but, right. but, um, so she needed somebody to work off of. So they got me to read the lines with her and she was the nicest person. I'll forget. It was Aww. really a terrific experience. Yeah. Aww. That's awesome. Aww. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's wonderful. So what was it like recording for the Rugrats movies? Oh, um, well, like I say, it was, it was really extra fun because we get to go on the Paramount lot and be amongst mm -hmm. the sound stages. And, and oh, this was really funny. Um, one time when I was going there, um, do you guys know, um, oh, what's his name? 
you know Wayne's World, that movie Wayne's oh, World? Oh, yes. yes. Love really? That movie. Oh, yes. yes. Love that movie. With, with, um, what's his name that's in Wayne's World? The, his first name. I mean, I, my, Mike Myers. I think it's Mike Myers. He's in Wayne's World. He's the, he's I think he's Wayne. So, I mean, I was walking to hurry to get to the Rugrats, and he was filming... Um, um, Wayne's World 2 at the time and he I was lost and I didn't know where I was going and so he was in costume for for Wayne's World so but I didn't you know I, I was in such a rush I didn't know so he walked me to where I go and then he left and I thought oh my gosh that was Mike Myers that, that and he was the sweetest sweetest guy um, but yeah that it, that's it's you know in Hollywood sometimes funny things happen like that where you get you get to meet your your um people that you admire in entertainment it's fun absolutely yeah, it really is sure. yeah now in addition now on the subject of recording for things outside of the show now because angelica was such a popular character she also had a lot of uh, merchandise she like did. uh yeah. you know plushes you know all the video games yeah. and stuff that they have can you talk a bit about those um I, I actually I can show you some new merchandise. Hold on a second. I have I have my computer um un, su being supported by the new merchandise actually. Oh. Here, this is new oh, wow. merchandise if you can see it. It's a Cindy oh, nice. doll. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Isn't that, isn't that nice. awesome? That yeah. is. Wow. Yeah, and she's bendable and she has a stand you can put her on a stand. But wow. um yeah, they're coming out wow. with, now that the new series is out. They're coming right. out with more merchandise, but yeah, they used to merchandise everything. So, I mean, I remember having earmuffs with uh, Angelica earmuffs, and there's mm -hmm. towels and bed sheets and a lot of different dolls and wow games and and like everything systems for you know when you want to go out and play in the water there's a sprinkler for the rugrats it was crazy and then you had what? like macaroni and cheese craft macaroni and cheese yeah and, um... and things like that all over the place so i'm hoping like right now they have band-aids they have rugrat band-aids i don't know if you've seen those but um you know so um yeah, now I, what I just show you, hopefully they'll come out with more stuff. Yeah, I actually I have so. those Rugrat Band-Aids. I think I actually picked up a thing of them, like, not too long ago, yeah. Did you yeah, really? where, where did you get yours? Because sometimes it's hard in my drugstore. I can't find them. I found them in Pennsylvania, but I can't find any in L.A. I think it was at my local CVS pharmacy. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah I couldn't. I, in L.A., I can't find them. I, I, I was in Pennsylvania when they came out, and I found them in Pennsylvania. But um, that's weird. We don't have them all over. <laughs> hmm. Definitely. Interesting. So yeah. as, as Rugrats over the years has had characters of different races and religions, as well as the holiday specials, which we mentioned right. earlier, how important do you think diversity and inclusion is in media? Oh, I really think it's it's really imperative because everyone everyone is watching and you want to be you want to see yourself portrayed on screen or yeah. you know or in you know I write besides Rugrats I I write children's books. So and um, there's so many children's books out there where they're starting to get more inclusive with with the LGBTQ community and with different mm -hmm. colors of skin for the children to who's yeah. reading the books. So, and I noticed that it's in more cartoons, it's prevalent too, but I think everybody needs to see themselves in, you know, what they're watching on TV so they can, you know, cheer for themselves and, and, yeah, exactly. you know, just feel, feel good and feel accepted. Exactly. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now, over its long run, Rugrats won a ton of awards, including a bunch of uh, kids' choice awards back in the back in the yeah. day. How how does it feel that you know the franchise became so successful and that its legacy you know still lives on to this day? Oh well, I I'm just I in fact I have on my wall I have the um the the soundtrack from the Rugrats movie. The soundtrack, nice. um, we got a platinum. It it's went platinum 
you know, went beyond gold. But wow! You know, oh so, my god! Yeah, it went platinum. That's how good it was. And I, I sang one way or another from Deborah Harry, and I got reviewed. The reviewers at that time said, and jo- or Cheryl Chase did, and did uh, Deborah Harry proud for her rendition of one way or another, and that made me feel so good that oh. uh, I got a good review. But we, no. yeah, we got I think six. Um, um, Kids Choice Awards, and we have four Daytime Emmy Awards, and we have a star on the Walk of Fame. Mm-hmm. So it really has been a, a, a wild ride. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. Rugrats is, Rugrats is really beloved. It's a beloved cartoon. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yesterday it was. Let's see. No, some no uh, Saturday. Here in Hollywood, there was a um, a screening of the Rugrats movie at a at a private th- at a, a a theater in Hollywood. It's called the New Beverly Cinema, and they show movies there. It's not like a big chain; it's a theater. Right. Quentin Tarantino owns the theater. I don't know if you guys know who Quentin Tarantino is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, there was a screening there, and I was there as doing. And one of the writers, we did a Q and A, and they asked us questions and. And um, we had a big crowd and everybody wanted my autograph and, you know, they were <laughs> wanting pictures. They were just like, so. and there was this one couple who came, who drove eight hours to see the movie. Eight hours. <laughs> they, they, they were up in Chico, California, like up by what? Sacramento. Or, mm. and, like, and they, they just told me afterward, just, and I was just amazed that they, that how much they loved the show that they would do that. No. I, I know. <laughs> that's what's why. You know, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. So, so in 2001, you did a special called All Growed Up, which mm-hmm. later became its own spin off, All Grown Up. Yes. What was it like working on those? Um, it was, um, I, it's been so long, I have to tell you, it's hard to remember. No, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, all, right. I, it's all right. No worries, no worries. I, time, it's all right. I loved it. It was wonderful because I was working with the same people. And it just, you know, Angelica was just a little uh, older. And she, I guess, would get into more grown-up adventures. I, I think I remember, was she a um, like the class um, editor of the magazine or the newspaper? I think so, yeah. I think, I think so. I, think, I feel mm-hmm. like she was, yeah. Yeah, I think she was. I think I remember one episode like of that. Oh, there was one big episode where Angelica falls in love, right? Mm, yes, I do remember mm-hmm. that one. Yeah, yeah oh I gosh. remember that. That made the cover of TV Guide, that ma- that magazine back then. So, oh, wow. Yeah, oh, wow. that was a special episode. So that was fun to do. Or yeah. no, when Angelica, no, no, no. It's not when she falls in love. It was when she turns 13. Mm, that, yes. Yeah, remember that when yeah. Angelica turns mm. thirteen? Yeah, that's what made the cover. Yeah. Wow. Of the magazine. Mm-hmm. So that's it was one. Cool. It's wonderful. I'm working on the Rugrats. That's it was wonderful. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So I'm kind of curious. What would you say? Are there any differences with with Angelica in the original series and all grown up? Differences. Um. Differences in like Angelica in the normal ep- normal in, like, the oh, in, in the original series and all grown up, like series. with her personality or yeah yeah. Oh well, she's just a little bit more. Um, oh, I think she's just a little bit more savvy and a little bit more spunky, and yeah. um, I think she maybe is a little bit more manipulative than she was when she was little. She knows more of how she can you know get people wrap them around her little finger um yeah i think that's it yeah definitely hmm. so now in ad- in addition to all grown up there was also a very short-lived uh spinoff that yeah. angelica and susie did called rugrats preschool days can you talk a little bit about that kind of a concept yeah um it was really okay at that time there was the preschool they had preschool we only four episodes of preschool days aired but they had nine or was it 13 they had 13 episodes ready to they had nine more after the four episodes they had nine more to go but somehow 
uh, Nickelodeon decided that let's stop that show and 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 make all make and put out all grown up. So that's mm. so I thought I thought oh darn you know because it would have been fun and you know to work with pre summer and and to more than what we did. But um, that's what Nickelodeon decided to do is they wanted to do go ahead with all grown up. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. How does it feel getting to reprise voicing Angelica after many years and bringing regrets to a new generation? Oh, it's, I, I just love it. It's exciting because yeah. I'm meeting um, parents that have little kids that are discovering the show mm. and, he, and they're telling me that, um, I, you know, you were my childhood. I was so, so you, you really uplifted me and made me, you know, comforted, you know, Rugrats really comforted me as a child, you know, in my crazy household, you know, a lot of them would say that um, Rugrats really gave them an escape. And now that the kid, that they, they're grown, they're grown up, they have their own children and they're sharing it with them and they're, they're, they're discovering that their kids are falling in love with Rugrats. And mm. it's, it's really mm -hmm. rewarding to, to find out how much this show has touched people and just made them, you know, happy. And, and I mean, cause sometimes I would get fan mail, you know, from fans that are depressed and, and, oh. you know, and they say that, you know, your show just really helps me cope. And that, that really makes you think, you know, how, how, how much a cartoon can affect somebody and uplift them. And it makes me feel happy that I can do that. Huh. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. So, is there a character from the original series you like to see in revival that hasn't been seen yet? Well, I, um, well, I, as you know, um, Dill is coming out for season two, so, right. um, so, um, yeah, um, I, I, I guess I'm excited to see Dill come out. You know. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, cause, Tara Strong does such a good job, you know, on um, as as Dill and many other characters, as you know. Oh yes. Um, mm -hmm. but but yeah, so um, yeah, I'm I'm excited, and then you know, Kimmy, she she was brought back. That's you right. Know? Yes. Yeah, she's awesome, and they see they made Nickelodeon decided to make Kimmy older to be more of Angelica's age group, and Susie they decided to make her younger to make her be with the babies. Mm. So they did some reimagining. So I don't know if you've noticed that in the new cartoons. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So now on the subject of uh, the second season, which premieres April 14th on Paramount Plus for those yes, it does. watching April or listening. 14th. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. is, is there anything you can share that we can expect in the upcoming season? Um. The, I, I, um, yeah, I see. Well, I guess I've already said it. <laughs> um, we're having, um, you know, a new holiday, the Perm holiday coming up. Um, and um, see, we record them so far, like, like it's been a long time since I recorded them. I kind of forget what oh, okay, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So I, mm -hmm. I don't know, but there's, I know there's a lot of, I remember being, um, uh, it's a lot of excitement and adventure and, Mm -hmm. um, new, 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 bigger adventures for the kids, for the for the babies yeah. that they what they go through, and I think the fans are going to love everything. They're going to love it. Huh. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Awesome. So you know, you kind of already shared one of them already, but do you have any Angelica or Rugrats memorabilia or anything with you that you can show or you can talk about? Um. Well, I can. I have something over here. You mean you're talking about the the merchandise? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me show you. This is another thing that I found. I don't know if you, I'll have to stand up. Oh wow! Oh my goodness! Oh, Look at that! Oh my yeah, goodness! Isn't that cool? Look at that! That is That's awesome! Wow! And then what? they have, and then they have like, um, let me try to. They have all the babies. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's. <laughs> Yeah, this is um actually it's on Amazon. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's a nice little blanket, but um, yeah. So that's some of the merchandise I could share. 
<laughs> awesome. Awesome. Then, awesome. I can try to get my standee. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah oh yeah. look at that. Look at that. Wow. 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 There wow. she is. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Wow. That's great. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That is nice. That's awesome. That really is. So overall, working in voiceover, what are some of the key things you've taken or learned the most from working as a voice actress? Well, what I learned most, and this is what I would tell anybody who wants to get into voiceover, is that you have to know how to act first. You have to take acting classes and and then voiceover mm -hmm. classes because there's specific ways that you things that you learn when you're in the voiceover world as opposed to the on camera world where you're working on camera with actors in a scene um yeah the you know you should take improv classes and um and and generally just acting you ha you have to because voice acting is is acting it's not getting a piece of copy like a piece of you know like a script and you're and you're reading it it's not that at all you have to become you have to make it be a lot because that's what, you know, the, the voice actors, they only have their voices to, mm -hmm. to, to, you know, put forth the character. They, and they, they, usually an actor uses their whole body to get that performance. But voice acting right. is, you know, you really have to know your, you have to train for it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So now, of course, uh, besides the upcoming season of the Rugrats uh, revival, is there anything you're working on currently that you can share? Um. Uh, well, I did another cartoon show, but I can't really say what that is yet. Um, yeah, because not. Yeah, yeah. darn it. Yeah, darn, yeah, darn yeah, it. Darn it. Okay. Um, I'm I'm reading. I'm reading. No, I'm writing. As I said, I'm I'm. Uh, writing, or I, I wrote, and I'm self-publishing a children's picture book called Chirpy Burpy. So that's oh, a project nice. that I'm doing <laughs> on the side. Yeah, I just found my artists, and they're going to be illustrating the book, and I'm oh, real cool. excited about it. Awesome. So, oh, looking forward yeah. to that. Yeah. Great. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, me yeah, too. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Working in voiceover, what would you say some of the biggest challenges that you have faced? Um, well, I have to, well, doing Angelica is a very exhausting role. She's yeah. Very, very exhausting. She's yeah. very full of energy and, you know, ah! Yeah, especially and, like I, if you, like, especially if you have to do like one take, you'd be like, oh yeah, I got it. And then for no reason, the producer's like, you have to do it again. And you're like, oh, I have to do it all yeah. that again. Yes, they have yeah, you do it. Tell. They'll do it your way. And then they have you do it so many other ways. And you have to think of, okay, mm -hmm. well, I did it this way. So now I have to do it that way. And I have to do it that way. And you have yeah. to think on your feet because the director, um, Charlie Adler, he's amazing. He, he's, he's the voice director. And he'll he'll say, you know, I'll read a scene, and, you know, it'll be a long scene. And then he'll and then on each script, they have it, the lines are numbered. So he'll say, okay, line 57, you know, you know, be this way, L line, line 92, be this way. And so every number, he's, okay, you know, say it this way. Da -da 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 -da. He, and, and it's like, okay, and you have to keep that in your head, what he just said, so you can act it out and be good mm -hmm. at it. And it's it's um it's a challenge, I have to tell you. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could tell. If yeah. Especially, you know, a child car, you know, so you know, <laughs> Yeah, she's very you know. Yeah, and she and sometimes I have to come home and just like rest because I mean I, I was I'm just been working up so hard like I'm you know, like sometimes she has to do a lot of screaming or a lot of crying. Yeah. Yeah. And they can that uh, can get you tired. It gets yeah. you tired. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah I can definitely it's, see that. Yeah, especially, yeah, like, but, yeah. especially calling them dumb babies will tire you out as well. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Especially yeah. how many takes did you do just for a specific line? Just for like, one line. Yeah, like, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. But did you ask? The, was that a question? I didn't hear. Did you ask me a question? Uh, uh, no, no. I was oh, just, mm -mm. oh, okay. I thought you said. I thought you said how many takes does it take to do a specific line? No, I that's what you no. Asked. no. Okay. No. Sometimes it could. Well, anyway, I can answer that. Sometimes it takes. <laughs> um, 
you know, I'll get it the first time or another time it'll take 10 times. It, and then right. a lot of times the producers and the writers, because see, when I go to the uh, studio, it's just me in the recording booth. And then I'll be looking at a Zoom call with everybody, the producers, directors, the writers, the... the uh, everybody. <laughs> Post-production. Yeah, they're all there. And they're going to, as I'm working, as I'm doing my lines, they'll say, wait a minute, you know, and then, they, then they're going to, they're rewriting it. So they'll rewrite it and then I have to do it a different way. Uh, so it's kind mm -hmm. of work in progress, but everybody is so nice. It's such a fun environment and... Yeah. It's a it's a good positive experience. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. So, are there any words that that you like to say to the fans, you know, who who's watching or listening, have been supported your work over the years? Oh yeah, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your um, love and devotion to the show, and 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 you know your sweet spirits of of loving of. Um, you know, keep the sh keeping the show alive, and yeah. and and um, you know, I, it just makes me feel good to know that we're we're you know bringing laughter to um, the masses. You know, yeah. um, it, it sure. just it, it's a rewarding feeling to know that people love what, what we're doing for them. Yes, and that's and that's exactly what matters because if people you know love this and that, you know, <laughs> I know you've already you know, felt touch about how much means so much to you because how Rugrats, you know, has become, you know, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah and of course you do a lot, you do some convention appearances as well. Talking mm -hmm. to the fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll be, ha I'll be doing some like in, um, let me see in August, I'll be in Bakersfield, California. Um, and at the San Diego comic-con this July, I'll be there. Nice. Um, yeah. So we ha I have some dates coming up. <laughs> Awesome. Ooh. Nice. nice. Awesome. So, so yeah. So, if people would like to connect with you, where can people find you? Um, I have a, I have um, my fan page on Facebook. It's called it's um Cheryl Chase. Look me up, Cheryl Chase, and it, it's the Entertainer page. There's Cheryl Chase Entertainer. Mm -hmm. You know, click on that, and 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 you can come on my my fan page or on Instagram. It's real Cheryl Chase. And in Twitter, it's at Cheryl Chase. They can find me there. Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. on Twitter as much as I am Instagram, I have to say. Mm. Yeah. Right. I'm saying, yeah. Right. Links to those will be in the description for people who want to connect with you. And yeah. to to really wrap this up, so the last question that Matt's about to ask is the question that we ask all of our guests at the end. Yes. Yep. So, of course, this podcast is called Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show. Thank you, Post. Well done. When you think of the word nostalgia, what do you think of? Or how would you define the word nostalgia? Nostalgia. Oh, that's kind of like a feeling that you get, you know, when you're growing up and, you know, mm -hmm. you see a TV show. Uh, or Well, nostalgia, I, I mean, uh, it's, it's just, a, I think it's a feeling, a good feeling that you feel when something that you see some, I, I, it's hard to explain. I'm sorry. <laughs> no it's worries. Okay. No it's worries. Okay. I, I just it's think okay. nostalgia is a good feeling. Like Rugrats is nostalgic for you guys. Exactly. Right? Of course. Yeah. You Absolutely. Grew up, you yes. grew up with it. Whereas yeah. yes, we did. nostalgic for me is like the the Flintstones. You know, that's because when yeah. I was five mm -hmm. years old, I was watching the Flintstones. Um, so that's nostalgia for me. So, so yeah, I think it's a good feeling. Definitely. Yes. Yes. yes and great words to and great words to end off. Well. Yes. Well, well. Anyway, uh, Cheryl, thank thank you so much for uh, you know yes. really taking yes. the time to, to do this. This was a blast. And, yes, and we, we, oh, we've been sure. I had yes. a fun time. Thanks yes. a lot, you guys. Oh, I really you. appreciate and, it. Yes, and yeah, thank we, you. We're happy yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And you know, we've been trying to do this for a while, so you know. We, yeah, I know. Yeah, so it's been, it's I, I'm so glad we finally got to do it. Yes. You know, worries. You know, scheduling and you know, time. You know, it happens. You know. Yeah, and and uh, and and I guess to end this off, Angelica, are there any words you would like to say to our fans to end this? Well, I just want you to keep watching this podcast. Um, um, it's um, what the Jake Jake's podcast or Chris's podcast? Who is it? <laughs> Who am I talking to? <laughs> Are you dumb babies? <laughs> we love you, Angel. We love you, Angelica. Hello, Chaka. Okay.
<laughs> and, I, and, and, and yeah, and thank you so much for Cheryl for what you've done to be a part of our lives, and especially Rugrats. You know how long we've been we've been a fan of Rugrats as long as you know we we can remember. And thank you so much, Aww. and thank you for being a part oh, of our lives. So keep up great work and see what's next for you, especially for the future of the revival series. We've been oh, yes. thank you so much. Yes, yes. of course, and, and be sure can't wait for sure. can't wait for more for that. Yes. Very excited, but yes. be sure to check be sure to check out season two of the Rugrats during on Paramount Plus April fourteenth. Yes. yes. So keep yes. a look out. Well, save yes. that save that day, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. Save that day. Bye, Cheryl. Yes. Take care. Enjoy. Have a great day. See you, Cheryl. Bye -bye. Take care. Keep in touch. Take care. Okay. See ya. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. And it's goodbye from us as well. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Goodbye very excited. Us. Very excited. Um. Big side for future interviews coming your way. And we yep. enjoy chatting with Cheryl Chase. She's she's awesome and especially yes. with John Cup, Rugrats, and um and ladies and gentlemen, keep up and keep um, keep an eye out more for, for the next great episodes coming your way. So keep, up, keep your eye out up. and yes. see you next time for another episode. Keep nostalgia, keep nostalgia alive. alive. Yes, take yes. care everyone. Bye, bye. See you next time. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. bye. Thank you for tuning in to another wonderful Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show interview. Be sure to follow Jake and the crew on social media and stream the show wherever you find your favorite podcasts. And as always, remember to keep nostalgia alive. Bye-bye.